Beethoven's time, it was very common practice for large-scale symphonies to be rearranged either by the composer themselves or by an arranger for chamber ensemble. As a group that specialises in historical performance practice of the late 18th century and early 19th century, I've always felt it was really important to include and explore these chamber versions um, with the group. Particular instrumentation for this performance is string quintet with two violins, two violas and cello, plus a flute and a double bass. And I think this particular ensemble is very successful for the translation of large scale works into chamber form. You get this wonderful texture um, in the center with the two violas that can create the illusion of a larger group. Plus you have the bass there that creates also that depth that you get with the bigger orchestra. And then the flute on the top that gives this wonderful um, color of the winds that if it was just a string ensemble, you'd really miss that. But somehow having the flute there as this extra dimension that makes you feel like you're hearing something much bigger. You have to remember in the time they didn't have recordings. Uh, they couldn't just hop onto Spotify or, or iTunes and download their favorite symphony. So this was a really great way for musicians uh, to get a chance to hear a work. Also for composers to sell copies um, in a different form so they would make more money. And also people would get together and perform these works in their homes, much in the way that we would put on a recording. Uh, sometimes they were also programmed on private concert series. We're looking forward to our concerts and we hope to see you there. Please join us and thank you.